Then you know. Madam, they got it at your face in Okada. And they take it one way. And you put it on Facebook. On the road that I thought. Is it good? And they will not hit you. You go and fall and you die. They will say government killed you. What a shame. And we are all praying that you have a better country. Post it and tell people. This is one of the kind of things that you see. In 20 minutes, I'm sure they will still carry another person. Put him there, then your father come arrest. Don't let him arrest you. I'm a soldier, Ogasa. Hey, so that's even the more reason. That's even the more reason. I'm going to lock you up. That's even the more reason. They're telling me a soldier. That's even the more reason. I'm going to lock you up. Get out there, there. Get in down there. Very sorry, sir. This next boy, I tell him you're a soldier. Just take four of them. Yeah, I'm lock him up. Tell him you're a soldier. Put him there. All right, so the video that we had shared earlier, right, was shared by the senior special assistant on media um, to the governor, um, Wale Ajay Tumobi, I think um, on his ex-handle accounting earlier today. He says that, according to the report, that Governor Songwulu um, was en route to the Lagos State University, that's Lasu, or Jo Lagos, for the official unveiling of a conference center donated to the institutions by the former Speaker House of Representative Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila, who currently serves as the Chief of Staff to the President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. So tonight we're asking, what are your thoughts on Governor Sonwulu's arrest? Uh, I was looking for the other video for him arresting the um, Okada men before now coming to warn this commuter, but we'll find that video much later. Um, so what are your thoughts on Governor Sonwulu's arrest? Now please let's hear what you have to say. Um, remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 08 one All right, so Mary, <coughs> there was a video where the governor was arresting some Okada men. We saw them running up and down, you yeah. know, scampering, and they were able to apprehend one and a few okay. bikes, right? <laughs> I feel bad for the offended one. And the one, he now said that he's a soldier. Ah, I think that one now aggravated the governor. The governor said, that's the more reason. I will arrest you because you're a soldier. First of all, what are your thoughts on, on, on the video when you saw the video earlier today? Um, I mean, this one that they played now, I mean, some of the words used, I think, were a bit unnecessary. A, a road that I built. I understand these people, they're a nuisance. Um, I mean, she's just a commuter, though. Like, and it also shows that you don't have a structure in place because I don't see why, as a governor, is when you're on the road, that's when you're arresting Okada men, and you have like a hierarchy of forces that are supposed to man, you know, these roads and figure out that everybody's obeying the rules. Rather, they will be arresting motorists and harassing people and taking bribes. But these Okada men that are driving one way, they can't do anything. So, first of all, I mean, it's a good. Um, acts or public show of um, display that you're, you know, sh arresting them on the road. But men, go back to your cabinet and ask the people that what are they doing? What are the policemen doing? What are the last mile officials doing? Absolutely. I mean, it means they, they're not working. Okay, so I, I like the angle you're coming in <laughs> from. But let me explain how I see this thing, right? Um, when you go to sane climes, because I like to always go back to sanity, <laughs> you know, uh, because I've seen this thing happen several times. And I'm particularly, you know, I particularly appreciate the governor for highlighting this menace because it's a big menace. Yes. Now, you will see that a lot of times when it comes to traffic rules and regulations, we obey it because we're in a four-wheeled car, I mean, whatever, yes. right? Motorists, right, they obey it. But you see, people like bus yes. drivers, Keke Marwa, or cadre riders, they never obey. Most times, you know, they are almost forced to obey traffic rules, especially Okada riders. These dispatch guys are like killers on the road. Literally, you just see somebody just cross in front of you. They never wait for the, um, the, the traffic lights to turn green. They believe that they are not supposed to obey those traffic mm. rules, right? It doesn't apply to them because they are on a two-wheeled um, um, object, right? So I feel like highlighting that it is a problem for 
bikers, you know, to do a, a one-way trip, mm. it's good. Because I've seen this thing happen several times. It's not even on this road. On our Lagos Expressway, in VR here, by the toll gate, whenever there's traffic on the other side, you will see the bike men, and they will tell you that you're on the right of way. They'll tell you to move so that they can go through. So all these issues, and I don't want the governor to, because again, I like the, what you mentioned about show up, because this is not a, this is not a media, um, uh, what's it called, paparazzi. No. It is real issues. A lot of people have almost died because, right, the Okada is taking one way and the person did not even see the Okada coming, right? So it is a big issue. And they have to enforce that law that going forward, whether you are on two wheel, whether you're on four wheel, you must obey traffic rules. And it applies to you because for some reason, I had felt over the years that it's like one way does not apply to Okada riders. So, but why are they and, and, and That's what I'm saying. So maybe he's just waking up to what he's supposed to be doing. I don't know, but they never apprehend them. So the governor going to speak to the commuter, I think I'm very happy with that. Because again, most times, I have said it several times, mm -hmm. when a driver is driving like a madman, the people inside the bus or the people that is, the person is carrying, can't they be the one to caution this driver to say, you know what, mm -hmm. do the right thing? No, but it's true, Mary. You know how Mary. mad these people are. You literally know how mad. They're literally going to tell you, madam, if you're, not, if you're going or you're not going, please calm down. Like, I, I mean, and okay, just imagine you're waiting for a bus to go home. It's getting late. All the buses are filled up. They're, you know, acting anyhow. And you see one Okada, Okada, there's traffic, and the guy is going one way. Please, let's be honest. You will actually enter. Mm. Because you're, you're trapped now. You can't find any bus. All you can find is the... Probably the stupid Okada man. Once you enter, <laughs> once you enter, so that you get to your house. Uh, it's the truth now. Okay, well, let's go on a break. <laughs> I don't know whether our, our viewers have woke, they have resumed. We will try to open our phone lines. Let me hear your thoughts. But we'll, we'll be right back. All right, <laughs> it's our ladies' night out, and if you just tuned in, we're asking what are your thoughts on Governor Son Wolu's arrest of Okada men earlier today. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 01 So, me, I like this, our governor. <laughs> you, know, you know, what I'm saying, the man just like, he likes the media. He actually, it, do you yeah. see the adjusting of this? Yes, now, nah, he adjusts. <laughs> That killed me. That actually killed me. The adoption of the suit, I knew that I was The man came to bed. He had his bottle of water. In fact, they've already done skits on him already. <laughs> I asked it, I just did a suit. They, 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 he had his bottle of water. I was talking. You know, but you see, um, in all of these things, right, I like to always look at root causes. Mm. Do you understand? Um, first of all, you would never have Okada men flying one way if there is no problem, right? A lot of them are trying to find the quickest commute time. No way. We're, no way Wait we're now. going back to No, we'll go back now. No, there are problems. Fundamental no. problems of Nigeria. No, let's go back. It, it, it's a problem because... To go to the bad roads. <laughs> no, yeah. And the traffic. Bad roads, traffic. So a, a lot of them are saying, okay, oh, I want to be able to do maybe 10 trips in a day. And for me to have shortest possible time... <laughs> Why is she laughing? Because it's funny. Shortest possible time. So, no, me, I'm trying to give reason. Let us expand the conversation, okay. right? Okay. So, this might be the reason. But you see, when I looked at that particular road, <laughs> there was no traffic. There was no traffic. It's a completely empty road. And I think it's, they said it's even a newly built road. That right? he built. That he built. The yeah, road that I built. That I built. <laughs> I, the governor, built the road. What do What's you your mean? job, Oga? Uh -uh. It's your job to build the road. <laughs> no, it's Did not. Did I open our phone lines? <laughs> Jesus yes, Christ. Our did. phone line is 0702500749. That's the number to call. Our phone line is now open, right? That's the number to call. So, I mean, he said the roads that I built. The you know? governor built a road for us. Okay, oh, oh you're supposed uh -huh. to do That's your job. You're supposed to do the job, mm -hmm. right? Um, but, but, but I was just going to say that. For me, I feel like that in itself, right, the fact that a lot of times, if you notice this one-way sy symptom, 
Look at this, this road uh, by O'Neill that they've taken forever to do. It's yeah. interlocking stones. Yeah. So a lot of times, so even don't after have half parts, <laughs> you still see a lot of people doing yeah. one way on, yeah. on both sides, yeah. right? Just because, again, the roads are bad, right? They've not really properly fixed the road. Yes. So this is how I see it. You can't really say there is a problem when you, you understand? No, or you cannot punish people for a problem where you know, you have not also found ways to ensure that that, um, that offense does not even happen in the first place, mm. right? I'm not justifying this particular incident because this road did not seem to me like they were trying to avoid traffic. No, but it's different now. Maybe the anger is because this road now that he has I gone, built. You don't understand. <laughs> Maybe the other ones have not been doing. It's fine that they are flying one way. <laughs> this one that I built, how dare you people now still fly one way? Uh -uh. Mm. That's, what, that's the annoyance. The road that I built, that the governor built, but, but you know So that. they've done the road. So why are you still flying one way? I'm tired of you. Uh -uh, that's it, sir. Maybe came, that's, that's the Maybe annoyance. came to 2024 for governor. That's, so uh, that's the annoyance there. You, know, you have to adjust the code to tell them that the road that I built. Come on now, governor. Uh, ah. are you I mean, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not the right thing. I'm not saying it's the right thing. But it's just, like I said, there's a hierarchy of um, officials, policemen, and last man. If they are doing their job, they caught me the other day for light that I don't even understand. I don't know whether I'm supposed to move or green. You know those um, connections when you're connecting from the, to the road to the other side where you turn left. The man, the guy. Did you near one? No, the one on the express. Mm, that's like that's by, the one by Pinnacle. Yes, by Pinnacle. Oh yes, they always. Oh, uh, well, you didn't so, know. I, I don't know when I'm supposed to move to the other one, and the the guy in my front moved. And they didn't catch that person, but it was a scapegoat, which is why I laughed when he said the Okada man that they arrested. It's just unfortunate because he's going to be the face goat and he will face, <laughs> face the law. I mean, there is no sign on, on that side. To, it's just to cross to the, to the other half or to turn, to turn left. I know where you are talking and about. And I'm just confused. So that particular junction is a, is a trap for last mile officials. Uh -huh. So that's why you see them. They always, they are there. Uh -huh. So ideally... And they're not there to correct you. They are just there to apprehend you. And, and, and collect money. And, and collect extort money. money. And yeah. extort money, which yes. is totally wrong. Yeah. Then put a sign there. So, you know, that particular road by the Pinnacle Junction is the way to my office, right? Yeah. A lot of times, right, people don't know. Even I need, I needed to educate my drivers to say, if you want to go to the next side, mm. follow when Please. this other light when turns green. green. That's when you're supposed to go. But you see, that education is nowhere near because there's no light that controls that particular see, inner lane. People put a sign that says, move on green or yeah. something. Like, yeah. it's, 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 it's so, it's, so you see, they won't do their job now. But then when somebody breaks the law, you now want to punish me. You're telling me that you carry me to last my office. And I'm just, I'm literally very confused. Mm. And I'm even saying, but you allowed the car in my front go. So it's just unfortunate that I'm the one that you were able to stand in front of their car. Mm. So what are you saying? So that guy now that has moved forward, you think he won't do it again another day? He will. Of course. He will. So, you know, so going back to governor's arrest, right, um, was that the best he could do? <laughs> no, make, because you see, bang, they should talk to the uh, last mile officials. That's who no, because because to. why I'm saying this, um, right? You see, they said don't get caught, right? That's the thing they always say. Um, don't get caught because um, how do I put it? Uh, it is okay as long as you're not caught. Yeah. And this is what a lot of people are going by. Going by in Lagos, right? Mm -hmm. These are the, these are the rules that they, they, they thrive on. As long as I don't get caught, mm -hmm. it's fine, mm -hmm. right? So because when you talk about offenses of one way, one way offense is everywhere. It's yeah. present everywhere. Yes. And sometimes, like you rightly said, sometimes it seems like they target certain kinds of people. There are yeah. some people that they are oh, it, they are allowed to not do to not obey the rules. The other day I was on Lucky Express Expressway, like I always am <laughs> on. And the next thing I see, a, a, a siren, um, what's it called? Those trucks, Truck. the Hilux trucks. And the, I think it was a, a range, range or something with the noise and everything, the paraphernalia mm. and whatever. And they were on a one-way road going, blasting and all. Who is and, going to stop them? And by the time I checked the map, it was just a 6 minutes delay, right? It was just a 6 minutes delay. So I get the part where the governor was trying to make the, 
the passengers responsible also for their lives. Because he was talking about tomorrow now, you are going on that road, and the, if something hits you and you die, they will not say it's government road that killed you. Well, Nobody would say... Now. Ah, okay. Do we have the second video it's now? It's not government road. <laughs> It's actually government road. Yeah. Uh, it's government road. So. Maybe it's like you're not, you're not, this 2023, you came for your, you came for your government. But I, I, I like the fact that he has created awareness because again, for a governor's attention, I mean, for the governor to have done this, he has, he has spotlighted the fact that yeah. one way is an offense. Yeah. But beyond the, all the paparazzi. One way is an no, see. You don't, no, you don't get it. No, you don't get it. I don't think... They don't have, know. No, you don't get what I'm saying to you. I don't think anybody has told Okada people that they are supposed to be obeying traffic. Stop you don't get it. it. I'm telling you. No, actually, because, I no, they actually don't know you that. You are not getting the point, Mary. For all the times that arrests have been made, do you understand? Okada, they, are, they don't... Nobody even cares about them. But they you have know, it. one way. No, they have, they have wait. But there's a license structure before, as an Okada rider, before you get your license to ride. Now, Won't, it's like driving school. Now, once you learn you, traffic Mary, rules, yeah, before still, you, you, you're not still getting the point I'm trying to make. That the point I'm trying to make is that they don't over the years, <laughs> do you understand? Nobody has told these people that come, oh, you are supposed to obey traffic lights. You're supposed to. You're supp yes, because. Yeah. If you go on your roads that's, every day, you're not listening to me. That's absurd. It's absurd, it's, but I'm telling you know. that is the reality because if you go on your roads every day, Okada people are always constantly doing one way. Nobody touches them. Why? So maybe now that the governor has arrested one, maybe the last month people will begin to do their job or the road safety people will begin to do their job because nobody touches them. It is only cars that take one way that people feel the need to arrest. That's my point. Okay. But that's crazy. Okay. <laughs> that <laughs> over how many years that we've had Okada, these last man people don't touch them. Well, I have not seen any Okada no. being arrested no. for taking I, one I, way. I'm, I'm sure they, they Mary, would Mary, please help them. me out if there's anybody mm -hmm. that you have. I'm saying to you, because this is something that I encounter almost on a daily Right? Nobody has said, why are you taking one way? They let them through. So if the governor decides to wake up now, 2nd of January, to say, you know what? Okada one way is a crime. Maybe, just maybe, sanity will be restored back on our roads. Because as it stands today, right? This governor's um, this governor arresting an Okada rider is the first I am seeing an Okada rider being arrested. Other people that have been arrested for taking one way are motorists. motorists. Yeah. They are car owners, right? Even sometimes, these commercial bus drivers, they don't even arrest them. You know? So over the, over the years, we have made it look like certain people cannot, they are free to break the rules. I know that taking a one way, right, is wrong. But over the years, you have not you have not effected those changes. You have not you have not if, uh, made any of such arrests. You know, the only arrests that I've seen them arrest Okada people are when they say this road cannot be plied by, by Okada riders. You know, there was a time that Fashola was very strict on the routes that Okada riders could take, okay. and so when the Okada riders were violating those rules, they were apprehending them and they were confiscating their bikes. That's when they were arresting Okada riders. It was not because Okada riders took one way. So for the governor to have, you know, uh, uh, um, thrown the spotlight on the fact that an Okada rider is taking one way, is commendable. But beyond that, <laughs> no, it is commendable. Okay. Beyond that, <laughs> right, so. it is commendable. Because now he has actually said that, or he has given uh, liberty to other um, security personnel to say, if you see an Okada rider doing one way, arrest them. Because that's what he has done. Yeah. You know, that's his action. But that I'm, is what I'm, it I'm, implies. I'm, I mean, they, there should be some penalty too for the heads of like um, police and stuff. For them not knowing for, for how many years that, that they should apprehend Okada riders for driving one way. I don't, I don't understand, Sha. I, I, actually don't I wish understand they could that. get that video for me if it is I ready. Don't. Because you see, that I want to touch a little bit of when he was arresting that guy. The guy made some, he made a statement. You understand? You see, people glossed over it and just felt like, eh, 
Even the governor really attacked him on that statement. The guy said, I'm a soldier. So, yeah, a soldier gives you the F country and the right to now you are you are, you, see, you are beginning to hit where the conversation should go. You see, silently, right, for every time we accept anomaly as a normal thing in this country, what you have done, you have endorsed criminality. You've Fair. endorsed, uh, what's it called, uh, impunity. Do you understand? For the soldier to have the F on tree to even say and that the gods to tell the governor of the state to say, thing, I right? am a soldier. Do you understand? Go and check it. The people that are violating and flaunting a lot of these um, laws, traffic, yeah. road traffic laws, right? Go and check them. They will either put military uniform at the front of their dashboard. Yeah. They, do you understand? Or police because car or police, you understand? Because a lot of them, they believe that they are above the law. They believe that they are, they are supposed to, you know, um, do those things and nobody can, can has, the, has the um, authority or whatever to, to be able to arrest them. So when that guy said, I am a soldier to the governor, the governor said that is the more reason, you understand, you will be arrested and locked up. So I want people to understand this thing because, you see, this can be the beginning of sanity in Lagos. It depends on how we want to take it. Maybe it's my... Okay, I'm tired of I talking. I think you're I'm being overly anymore. positive now. No, oh, it's not but being... I mean, yes, it's, it's a first You're step. not getting the point. It's I, not It's not it's, issue of being overly positive. If the governor is not doing this for media attention, right? You think he's not? If he's true... No. <laughs> Because there's, there are allegations that the man is, he loves the attention that he draws to the media. So that's why a lot, some of these things, he does them once in a while, just to get media attention, get him buzzing, get a lot of following, right? If this is not a media attention stunt, right, it can actually bring sanity to Lagos. Do you understand? Because truth be told, a lot of these people that flaunt these rules, they are all... Um, what's it called? Security personnel, most of them. Do you understand? Or they are friends of security personnel. Because you see, the same thing you said, I've seen a road that you will pass and last man will wave you. Let the next person pass. They will arrest that person. So even the security personnel, they have given, um, what's it called? Some level of preference. preference. Right? These are the people that can break the law. These are the people who cannot break the law. So for the, for the fact that the man said, I am a soldier to the governor, what you are trying to say is that I have the right, you know, to violate the traffic rules. And the governor then went back at him and said, you know what, it, because you are a soldier, that's why I'm arresting you. So I just want us to learn, to understand that, see, if this thing can be taken beyond what has happened today to a bigger, you understand, a bigger uh, roadmap, we might just, this might just be the beginning of sanity in Lagos. I am actually excited about it. I like the fact that it happened. I am looking forward to the ripple effect it will have on other um, traffic violators. That's the one I'm looking forward to. So beyond this paparazzi, right, and the attention that it has drawn, can we get a lot more people to be more responsible while using the road? Because maybe you are smiling. A lot of people have died because... One Okada was driving one way, you know? And this Okada, they are so are vicious. Where are the last man officials? Where are the policemen put in place to make sure that people are obeying the traffic rules? Where are they? Where are they now? Instead, they are catching people and taking bribery and corruption for what is not important. Because hmm. those boss people, you don't think they settle all those guys? They do. They do. Hmm. They do. They do. They do. So, but I was just going to add that, you see, while I commend Mr. Governor, back to my Sena climbs. <laughs> In Sena climbs, right, there are designated um, paths for, for cyclists. cyclists. <laughs> no, it's true. Because, again, um, sometimes, right, these people have no business being in traffic. That's why they chose to ride um, um, motorcycles or power bikes and all of those things, right? Exactly. They have no business being in traffic. Yeah. Um, this is not justifying this one because there was no traffic on this road. I'm saying for other um, riders that have mm. to go through the route of you know, doing one way. 
um, we don't have path for commuters that are walking on the road. We don't have pedestrian, proper pedestrian walkways yeah. on our roads. We don't have proper bicycle path for people that want to ride bicycles yeah, or something. Because, yeah, what because, if it was a bicycle? Would they, would they arrest the bicycle too? You know, the, the ideal thing, right, mm. um, for pedestrian... And I think I, I, I was saying to my team, that's true, we were supposed to do a documentary on it. The ideal, mm. right, you're actually supposed to ride against an oncoming vehicle. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah, no, for have, safety. No, wait, no, 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 hold on, hold on. But you see, that's what I'm saying to you, that if it is designated... Yeah. Because, you see, people have... I know someone that was knocked down and almost lost the use of his legs because because, this is uh, for, you know, so people that jog in the morning, people that go out, right? That's why I'm saying to you that we do not have dedicated pedestrian path or, or um, uh, cycling, cycling path. path. Because ideally, you are not supposed to back an oncoming vehicle. Mm. You are supposed to face an oncoming vehicle when you're taking your walks or your jogging or whatever. Mm. And I see a lot of people use the roads wrongly. Because if somebody is drunk and mistakenly gets off the or the person sleeps, um, uh, falls asleep whilst, whilst driving, the next person, the, the, as the person is um, swaving, swaving off the road, the, the, the next person will be, will the, will be the, the pedestrian mm. that will be hit, right? So this particular one was at 6 a.m. in the morning. The man was taking a walk or he was coming back from one early morning prayer or something. Mm. And the bus driver did not see him. And most of the time they don't even wear reflective jackets or something or anything reflective mm. so the bus driver did not see him the next thing he just boom, he heard a noise he had knocked him down you know thankfully mm. he did not lose his life but i'm saying to you that you see on one hand whilst i, I commend the governor for arresting the government you have to also understand that on our roads there has to be proper Structure. structures for road use, because we're not, we don't have safety in the, at the back of our minds yeah, with our roads in these countries. Things. No, we don't. In other senior climbs, there are, there are proper lanes. pedestrian walkways that are far away from the roads, proper lanes. So these are the things that when we are talking about governance, right, and we're talking about impact, these are the kinds of things that we're looking forward to. It's not for you to just say, oh, I built a road. No. What did you build? Is it a death trap you built or you built a proper road that when I use it, I am safe using it? Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So those are the things, those are the measures that every right-thinking government should. should begin to look, look forward to. And I am tired of this psychophancy in Nigeria that, oh, you have done this, you've done that, commissioning of this, commissioning of that. I, I am more interested in the quality of what you're commissioning, Fair. In, in the usability of what you're commissioning. Is it something that is safe? Go and check international organizations that are in Nigeria. Once you go into the international the organizations, they will tell you. Like there's a particular company that I, I, I visited, right? Um, so this company, they said, you cannot walk. You understand? You can't walk. But if you see, look at the, they brought the video now, right? Okay. If you look at this particular road, you will see that there is a pedestrian pathway. Are you seeing that there's a setback? There's yeah. a pedestrian pathway, right? So it is, I don't, I don't even know how this even happened, right? Because look at the Okada riders. They are going on the proper path. So how did this Okada rider choose? It's not like the road is busy, is it so you know? So I'm saying that today is just not his lucky. He's, today he's just unlucky. Yeah. And I'm, I'm happy that this arrest was made so that anybody you know, going forward. Because look at all of them. They're all pa um, passing one way. Oh. And the guy ran away and left the bike. Oh. <laughs> but this, is, this has been a good conversation. Is your life or the bike? You say? I say, is your life or the, or the bike? Some people, because the, the bike is their life. Yeah, but then, the, like that, okay, well, he's a soldier, Shah. Some people, their bike, their bike is their life, but I was going to say Would you rather spend your, do you know, if they carry you to prison, how are you going to come out? You know, I was going to say that um, there's a big part that we did not touch on. Which part? A lot of people are un unemployed. <laughs> so, uh, livelihood for them is picking <clears throat> up an Okada. <clears throat> so, that's why they should carry one way. No, I'm just saying to you that no, oh, I already gave you. If you didn't go to school, you won't know <coughs> the, the traffic rule. 
<laughs> which, which exception I try to make for, for these people. It's wrong, it's wrong. Whether you're educated, whether you're unemployed. If you're unemployed, you actually got the Okada so that you make a living for yourself. A decent living. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, do the right thing. Like he said, if if a car now hits, you understand, what are you going to say? Hmm. You just kill passengers and you just die an unnecessary death. So. It's sad. Nobody did this on Wulu. What kudos, a way, what a way. to him. We hope to see more. You know, yeah. what a way to start the year. Hmm? It's, it's a good. It's working. <laughs> Our government is working. Our government this is not how to work. It's a good is thing that he has spotlighted it, but I'm yeah. saying that the work beyond the work goes beyond what has happened on social media. Yeah. I'm hoping that they take it beyond social media and let's even see more sanity on our roads. I think um, we've had a good conversation very, very because I feel like coughing and I don't want to cough while I'm on air <laughs> so that I can I can go back to my my house and go and sleep. But thank you so much, Mary. Thank we you. had fun. So we, we want to commend fun. the governor again. You know, this is a good step, right? Like we rightly said. So let's see more of this happening. Let's see saner use of roads, especially with our motor, uh, motorcyclists or mot um, yeah, and commercial bus drivers because those are the two major, what's it called, sources of road menace, right? We'll see you guys. Um, so before we go, ensure you follow us across all social media handles. It's at Way Show Africa. You can interact with us further, drop your comment. Most importantly, follow all our engagements on social media, like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. In case you sent messages, we're sorry you couldn't take some, any of your messages today. We'll do that you know, some other time. Now, if you missed today's quote, here it is again, like what Mary said, what is right is right. Respect for the rule of law is not optional, it's fundamental. You see, this thing about respect for rule of law, when our leaders begin to respect the rule of law, right, it will trickle down to even the citizenry, right? So, I mean, I'm not giving an excuse for breach of law, but let's just make it a holistic approach to building a saner Nigeria. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Ciao.